Good morning, children. Welcome to the online class. In today's session, we we will discuss about the, our Earth and the solar system. What is solar system? The sun, the planets, and its satellites, asteroids, meteoroids. All together, we call as the solar system. In this solar system, sun is the head of the we can say family, sun family unit. Then around this, planets are there. Some satellites are there. In this planet, what are the planets? The sun is star. It won't move. It emits the light and heat also. It gives us light and heat. And the temperature of the sun at the periphery, that means the surrounding the sun, the temperature is nearly 6000 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the sun in the periphery, periphery means outside, 6000 degrees centigrade. And the distance from the sun to our earth, that is nearly 150 million kilometers. 150 million kilometers. Then, that's the sun is emitting that much temperature, no? but we are not getting that much temperature because of it is far away from us. That's why we are getting nearby up to 50 degrees Celsius. We are getting okay. Then we will learn about planets. What are the planets? The celestial bodies which move around the sun, around the star. There are planets. In our solar system, we had we have eight planets. Up to 2006, we learned nine planets, but now we are we are eight planets only considered as a planets because the nine planet, whatever the Pluto is, the that is not revolving properly uh, on its uh, path around the sun, and the planets move around the sun in a particular path, that path only we call it as a orbit. What do we call orbit? Our earth, along with our earth, there are eight planets, no? we will learn about our earth. Our earth is a, one of the planet where life is, like life existed. It is the third from the distance, if you observe, it is the third and the uh, third planet from the sun. And it is the fifth planet also in the solar system. On this year, we observe some major components on this year. They are, that only we call as the natural rings of the earth. They are four. First one is lithosphere. First one is lithosphere. Second one, hydrosphere. Third one, atmosphere. Fourth one, biosphere. Now we will learn about the first one, like uh, lithosphere. The lithosphere consists of rocks and soil which is the uppermost layer that means on the layer of the earth that, uh, that is a harder part of the earth we call it as a lithosphere in this only we have a different landforms continents oceans plains plateaus mountains all comes under this lithosphere next to hydrosphere hydrosphere connect the cut consists of all the water bodies on this earth. Water bodies mean from the oceans, oceans, rivers, seas, lakes, streams, all comes under this hydrosphere. That means all the water bodies in, on this earth comes under hydrosphere. Then, third one is atmosphere. Our earth is surrounded by a thin layer of gases. That gases only, that thin layer only. Thin layer means uh, up to now, our uh, geologists, our uh, scientists estimated up to 
thousand gigabytes only. In this, uh, at my, uh, all the the thin layer of that gas is only we name it as a atmosphere. In this, uh, seventy eight percent of the earth surface consists of uh, nitrogen, twenty one percent oxygen. And the remaining one percent, the remaining gases, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, or uh, all water vapor, and remaining neon, all these are inert gases comes under that one percent. Then the fourth one, biosphere, the life on the earth, which we call, which we say that is a human being, plants, all these are there, no? Soil, earth, and all. That when life on the earth exists in this biosphere, that's why only our earth is called as a unique planet in the solar system. Our earth is a unique planet because of all these features. We have all these features. The earth, this planet, is giving us support to life, to to live. And if we want to know that about the earth. Our Earth, the generally you see, it is a circle. It doesn't. It is in the shape of a geoid. What is the shape of this geoid shape? Geoid shape. This is geoid means that our Earth is not a round currently. It is a flattened in the near the poles and it bulges in the center. That's it. That type of shape we call as a geoid.